to CJ Explores. I'm Charlotte behind the cameras, Corey, and today we are going on a very exciting venture. We are traveling on the Eurostar from London to Paris. So the Eurostar departs from St. Pancras Station, it is near King's Cross, the underground station. Um, and we are going in now. We have to check in one and a half hours before our train departs. Uh, we're going to go find out where we're going from and what we need to do for security. Okay, opens in 10 minutes. Well, I guess we go down this way. So inside St Pancras Station there are a lot of shops so you can spend some time here if you want to do some shopping before your trip. Uh, there are heaps of cafes, heaps of restaurants and in fact we have just been doing some work in a pub. There is a Weatherspoons here which is like the UK um, very very discount price uh, pub for beers and pub food. Uh, we've just been sitting there doing some work so yeah it's uh, pretty busy as an international train station should be but um, hopefully it all goes smoothly. So we have just come to the international departures area we just saw our uh, train time we followed the queue and so now we are queuing to go through like passport control security checks ticket control like all the usual things you do when you're catching a flight but not quite as long hopefully <laughs> And we're off. <laughs> we are through and I guess the only exciting thing about Brexit is that we're getting stamps back in our passports when we're going to Europe. Woo! Woo now we have one hour wait until our train leaves. We've actually been allocated new seats, but that's okay, we're still together. Now we wait. Okay, so we made it through passport control with no issues. We both got stamps in our passports and now we're just in this waiting area. Um, we have a cafe, restaurant, there's hot food, grab and go food, um, beers, coffee, kind of just, you know, train station goodies. Uh, that's right here in the waiting area and then the platforms are upstairs. Um, but here you have a lot of tables, a lot of seating and there's plugs down here so if you need to get some work done before your train, you can do that too. to change it for some reason, didn't they? We've all seem to have got new seats for most people, but I think they had to change trains or something. Technical difficulties. The numbers are on the door, but I've gone the wrong way. We're looking for number four. That goes to nine from eight. So on your ticket, you will have a carriage number, and those numbers can be found on the doors of the train. So if you're looking for um, what train cabin you're in, it starts from the end of the big clock and runs towards the exit of the train. Don't worry if you get caught up in some of the queues, like security and passport control, because they won't leave. That's what they said on the intercom. They won't leave unless everyone's on the train. So don't stress too much if you get stuck there. So I've been tracking where we are on Google Maps and just after about half an hour is when we get to the coast and now we are going through the tunnel underneath the channel. It's not actually very long actually through the tunnel because this was about half an hour and obviously we still have to go all the way down to Paris. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit of a boring sight really, but so far so good. 
Yeah, very comfy, nice and spacious. Corey's got a plug for his laptop. Yeah, they have um, they have English and European plugs, so it's six people coming and going from whatever place they are. Well, my friends, that literally took, I think it's about five past five when we were going past Folkestone Euro Tunnel. So considering the time it took for us to get from Folkestone to Dover and then under the channel and then pop back out of France was less than 15 minutes. Voila, here we are. That's now cool. we have another uh, half an hour or so to go until we get to Paris. 30, 40 minutes. Bonjour. It's a bit warm. Well, we're here, we've made it, voila! 36 degrees today. 36 degrees, that's what it says. Yeah, it feels really warm. Definitely noticed that. Yeah, well, that was, it's just so easy. Like, it's just so much more comfortable than a flight. You have more room. Um, it's just so cruisy. Like, it's my favorite form of travel to get to Europe from England. It still blows me away that you go underneath the English Channel, like, in a train tunnel for 50 kilometers it's just like blows <laughs> it blows my mind but yeah we're here now and uh, we are going to find our way out of this place Well, we're going to be adventuring around Paris for two whole days. Mm -hmm.